Hallelujah, Todaya. Hallelujah. I certainly do, Todaya, for another evening that he has allowed me to experience. A lot of uh, people, they died today. Hallelujah. And Yah has allowed us, Israel, Yah, as a people, another evening Hallelujah. that we may gather and to give him toda and to give him praise. Hallelujah. As I was listening to Zakane Yermia, my mind went back to when we first began this place and how we had so many people here. You know, we all had our ways, things we was going through, and y'all had patience on us. But tonight, Israel, y'all, we, a small group here, y'all still has us here as a people. Hallelujah. Through all of that, we wasn't taken by their ways. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We wasn't drawn by them. And you're not going to tell me that it didn't hurt for some of them to leave. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But Yah has kept us yes. as a people, a collective little family. The way we should be as the people of Yah. Hallelujah. 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 Those that, that had sons and daughters that they raised here. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Natural kinsmen that they had here. Yes. I had a natural sister here. Hallelujah. And it hurt me when she left. I'm not going to lie about that. Hallelujah. 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 But I look back on those things as he was talking about the wood pile and the way we worked around here. And it made my mind go back to, to think how Yah has kept me. Hallelujah. And it made my heart more grateful unto my Abba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that's what I want to speak on tonight, conditions of Yah. Let us as a people of Yah, let us faint not. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us not look at things so carnally. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us stand as a people of Yah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us become more of a tight-knit family. Do we not see how Yah has taken his mighty hand and cleaned this place out? Yes. Hallelujah. And Yah shall add unto the assembly such as should be needed. Yes. Hallelujah. So let us not faint, conditions of Yah. Let us stand. Hallelujah. 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 Let us fight against these enemies that, that battle our mind. Yes. Our kinsmen, our, our natural blood kinsmen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. The spiritual things that battle our minds. Yes. Our ailments, our hurts, our pains. Yes. Hallelujah. Let us stand as a people of Yah. For we should stand. Yah, as I listen to, I just recall something that, that I heard Rayak say a, a, a while back. He said, Yah had patience to wait on us. He had mercy upon us. He brought us to this point now. Hallelujah. So why can't we as a people, why can't we wait on Yah for our ailments, our pains, our hurts? Hallelujah. The things that, that hurt our hearts. Hallelujah. Why can't we wait on Yah? Why can't we have a little patience in this race with Yah? Yeah. Hallelujah. We should as a people of Yah. Yes. If we have any love towards Yah in his misfire, in his Torah, we should as a people of Yah. We should have that type of heart. But if we don't have that type of heart, then that's when we get to murmuring and complaining and we lose sight of what Yah is doing here. Yes. We look at things carnally. We look through that glass dimly. Hallelujah. 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 We look through the, the glass darkly. We can't see. Hallelujah. We don't have a vision. And we should as a people, y'all, we should have a vision. Hallelujah. There should be a vision. The world set a vision all the time, but they don't call it a vision. They call it a goal. Yeah. Hallelujah. They set goals all the time. Yeah. And they strive towards those goals. We should have a vision. Yeah. Our people without a vision, they perish. Yeah. Hallelujah. And we should have a vision of what we want to be from, from this point to the next point. Yeah. As a people of Yah. If we have the Ruah of Yah, yes. hallelujah. hallelujah, if we stay upon our knees and allow Yah to massage our lives, yes. to massage our hearts, hallelujah. we can look back and say, man, I was pitiful there. I need to move up. That is a vision. You, you vision yourself being, well, I want to be a deacon. Well, I want to be this. Hallelujah. Yes. And that's how we should be the people, y'all. We should look back and say, man, I was pitiful. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. I was a grumpy, mean thing. Hallelujah. And we should want to change as the people of Yah. That should be our desire. That should be the cry within us. Help me, y'all. Help me, y'all. That's how we should say. We should say those things. Y'all help me. I need your help. We should be that way as the people of y'all. I tell myself that all the time. I say, y'all, whatever you want me to do, even if it's not my thing, even if I don't do it, 
Even if I don't like doing it, I say, yeah, you help me to do it. I do it with all my heart. I do it with zeal. I do it with finesse. Help me, y'all. I'll do it, y'all. Help me, y'all. But you got to help me, but I'll do it if you give me the help. And that's the way our heart should be as the people of y'all. Hallelujah. We should be that way. We should want to move up. We should want to be in the same state we was two months ago, a week ago. We should be able to look back and say, man, I was sad. Hallelujah. So let us faint not, conditionally, y'all. Hallelujah. Let us faint not. Faint not. Let, let us be encouraged as the people of y'all. Don't let the way things look get you down. If you look throughout the Torah, hallelujah, if you look throughout the Torah, those that trusted in Yah, you look it up, you do the research, look at all those that trusted in Yah, what their end was. Hallelujah. He, did, he never forsook them. But Satan comes to our mind and tells us that. Hallelujah. He bombards our mind that way. They're like, Yah has forsaken me. Hallelujah. You think that when Hamashiach was, as Jeremiah was talking about the stake, you think when he wasn't on that stake, when he cried out, Abba, why have you forsaken me? You think he didn't feel that? He was in the flesh, wasn't he? You think he didn't feel that? So he's not, he is our example. So we're going to feel the same thing, feel as though Yah has forsaken us. But he hasn't condemned Yah. That's what his word says. He hasn't forsaken us. Hallelujah. Yah hasn't forsaken his people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to turn here to Deuteronomy, where Yah used Moshe to warn his people. Deuteronomy 20 and 2. We're in a battle, conditions of Yah. We're in a battle. And there are enemies that, that battle against us. Hallelujah. What are our enemies? The many things that are our enemies, things that battle against our mind, the natural kinsmen. Hallelujah. Our flesh, our corruption, as you see as I proceed in this message. It says in Deuteronomy 22, and it shall be when you are come near to, to that battle, the Kohen shall approach and speak to the people. Deuteronomy 23, and they shall, and, and shall say to them, hear, O Israel. That's the first thing we must do to the people, y'all. We must hear. Yeah. We're people that we want to be quick to speak. And the Torah tells us to hear. He say, hear, O Israel, y'all. If we hear the word of y'all, not just hearing it, going in this year and coming out the other, we must hear it and ponder the matter. Ponder the word of y'all. Let it become a part of us. We must hear it. Let it absorb into our ruah. Then y'all can deal with us. Then he can help us. He can give us strength that we faint not, Israel, y'all. Hallelujah. It says, hear, O Israel, y'all. You approach the day of battle against your enemies. Let not your hearts faint. Let not our hearts faint. For what? It says, for fear. And do not tremble. Neither be you terrified because of them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let, let us not tremble. Let us not fear because of, of what is taking place. Let us not be ready to throw up our hands and say, oh, this is it. This, this ain't of y'all. Hallelujah. 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 Let us stay grounded within this word. Let us allow y'all. To massage our lives and our minds and our hearts. Hallelujah. Totally Yah. And it goes on to say in Deuteronomy 24. For Yahweh your Abba. He is he. Abba is he that goes with you. To fight for you. Against your enemies. To deliver you. Hallelujah. If we look throughout the Torah. Yah always fought for his people. Hallelujah. And the, and the Torah says. If Yah be for me. Then who can be against me? Who can be against me? Hallelujah. If I'm on y'all's side, on y'all's side, who can be against me? Y'all made them. He made my enemies. He made us all. He made everything that we see, smell, touch, or whatever. Y'all made it all. It's all in his hand. So if y'all be for you, who can be against you? You do what you're supposed to do, what the Torah describes you to do, and you just stand and watch the hand of y'all. Watch how he strengthens you. Watch how he brings you through. I don't care what it is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that, being in that, that you, you're going through a thing, that is the, the adversity, the thing that you suffer, that shows what type of strength that's in you. When you go through a thing, when there is adversity, you tell me that there's a ball player, and he's up against another ball player. Hallelujah. 
And this ball player is really putting it on him. But then if he's a true ball player, when that other ball player is really getting down on him, then it shows what he really can do. Whether he's, he has no heart, he has a faint heart, or whether he has some grind in him. He has some truth in him. He has the real deal in him. Hallelujah. So that's when we as the people of Yah, that's when we would show our best is when we're being tried. Hallelujah. If anything's in you, when you're being tried, that's when you're going to stand up. Hallelujah. That's when you're going to stand as a people of Yah. You're not going to bow down. You're not going to be weak. It shows what's in you when you're tried. So we should meet those things. Yah says in all things, give Toda. Give Toda. Yah knows what he's doing. You give Toda. Yah knows what he's doing. It says in, in Proverbs 24 and 10, it says, if you faint, as in if you abandon the Torah, the misbars of Yah. It says, in the day of adversity, distress and trouble, that's all it is. Your strength is small. You have nothing. You can talk the talk, but when this, is happened, this, when this happens, that's when you got to walk the walk. It shows what's in you. I don't care what it may be. It's nothing in this Torah that we as the people of Yah have has experienced that Yah doesn't have in here that we can follow as an example. Hallelujah. Nothing. I don't care what it is. But you may let the devil talk to your mind and tell you, oh, woe with me. I'm the only one going through this. Hallelujah. Ain't nobody suffering this. You may let them talk to your mind that way. And we shouldn't as a people of Yah. We should get upon our knees, get into this Torah and just wait on Yah. I don't care how bad you feel. If you feel like you don't know if you're going or coming. And it's going to feel that way sometimes. You're going to feel stress. You're going to feel that way. Like, yeah, what's going on? But you just wait upon him. He's got it all in control. It's y'all. This is y'all. He knows what he's doing. He made you. He saw beforehand what you were going to go through. What you're going to battle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we're going down here to uh, Chirac 2 and 13. As Jeremy always says, some of you may not have it. We as the people of y'all, when, when we are faint-hearted, when you allow yourself to become faint-hearted, in a sense you're saying, you're telling y'all, I don't trust you. That's what you're saying. You're saying, y'all, I don't trust you. I'm going to resort to my flesh and handle this my way. That's what a, a faint heart, in the example, that's what a faint heart it is. You don't trust y'all because you allow Satan to talk to your mind and you become faint hearted. And so you result to different avenues, whatever it may be. Hallelujah. So l- let us not become faint hearted. Let us trust in y'all. Let us not tell y'all that because that's what we do as the people of y'all when we become faint hearted, that we don't trust in him. We have to stand. If you say you're, you're the people of Yah, you have to stand. Yeah. You, can't, you can't say that out of your mouth that, oh, I love Yah, and then as soon as you try it, you, you resort to the things of the flesh, the things of the world. You're a flat-out liar. That's not true. Yeah. Hallelujah. We are, we are the people of Yah. Hallelujah. And we become faint-hearted. There's, there's all sorts of things. We, we start to do all type of different wickedness. There, there's corruption. That will illuminate within your whole lab, your whole mind, your whole, whole thinking, your whole outlook upon this walk with Yah. You become corrupt. And it says here, listen to what the prophet Isaiah said to warn the people of Yah. It says here in Isaiah 1 and 2, it say, hear, O Shemayams, give ear, O Olam, for Yah has spoken. I have nourished you and brought you up, children, and they have rebelled against me, says Yah. The ox knows his owner, the ass his master's crib, but Israel does not know. Hallelujah. My people have not understood me. Hallelujah. We as the people of Yah, we go through a thing, we don't understand Yah. Hallelujah. We don't understand him. It says... Get wisdom, but then all I get in what? Get understanding. And so we need to get upon our knees to get an understanding of y'all. What is the understanding of y'all? To allow y'all to do it. 
That's the understanding. Just step back and allow y'all to do it. That's the understanding. Just allow y'all to do it. I understand y'all. You in control. Hallelujah. And that's all we have to do as the people of y'all. Y'all has kept us through all this time. Hallelujah. And you think he's going to forsake us now? He's not going to do it. Y'all will keep us. I don't care what it is. What the devil plays on your mind. Y'all is going to keep his people. Hallelujah. And he's going to strengthen his people. You look throughout the Torah. He never forsook his people. Never. Isaiah 1 and 5. 1 and 4. Ah, a sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors. They have forsaken Yah. And if you allow a faint heart to dwell within you, to take over your life, to take over your mind, we will, as the people of Yah, is it going to say, they have provoked the Kadesh one of Israel Yah, to anger. They are going away backwards. And that's what a faint heart does. Whether we realize that the people of Yah or not, when your heart is faint, you are backpedaling from Yah because you're trying to do it your way. Hallelujah. And that's what it, and that provokes Yah. He said, all I've done for these people, I brought them to this point. I brought them from here. I brought them through that. I brought them through that. And I brought them through that. And I get them to this point, and now all of a sudden, would that not provoke you? Any parent? Anyone that you, you, you put your heart into? That you've been their friend? And they turn their back upon you? Hallelujah? Would, would that not provoke you to anger? Would it not hurt? Hallelujah. So we have provoked it. When we allow that, that faint heart, we provoke y'all. Y'all doesn't want us to perform that way. He wants us to trust him, condition of y'all. So let us faint not. It says on in uh, Isaiah 1 and 5, why should you be beaten anymore? You will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick. The whole heart is faint. So why should y'all even continue to deal with you if you're going to allow that, that corrupt, that faint hardness to be upon you? That you, you won't result to the things of y'all to get upon your knees and pray unto y'all and give y'all a toda for whatever situation that there is that you are in. Why would y'all even want to deal with you anymore? Huh? Why would he? He said the whole head is sick. The whole heart is faint. And we do not allow the enemies of y'all to, to weary us. What is the enemies of y'all? Anything that goes against the Torah, y'all. I don't care what it may be. Your family, whatever. Hallelujah. We can't allow it to to take our imuna, to allow our hearts to be torn down, to be broken, that we forget about y'all. We can't allow conditions of y'all. It says, it um, goes down here to Galatians 6 and 8. It says, for he that sows to the flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. So if you sow into that faint heart, you allow that heart to make your result unto your flesh. That's what you're going to reap. You're not going to reap the harvest of Yah. You're going to reap the harvest of that flesh of yours. Hallelujah. That's what you're going to reap. You're going to reap it. So he that sows to the flesh of the flesh shall reap it. But he that sows to the Ruah, as it goes on to say six and eight, but he that sows to the Ruah shall of the Ruah reap what? Life. Hallelujah. Life everlasting. Hallelujah. That's what we shall reap. Life everlasting. Our minds can't even fathom that. Life everlasting. I can. If you can, then show me how. But I can't even fathom that. Life everlasting. With Abba Yahweh. This stuff we see is temporal. Life everlasting. No corruption. Nothing rotting. Nothing decaying. No spider webs here and there. No dust. Life everlasting. Hallelujah. Can we fathom that conditions of y'all? Life everlasting. Hallelujah. Life everlasting. Hallelujah. For consider him, Yahshua, that endures such oppositions of sinners against himself. Least you be wearied and faint in your minds. For if we be weary and faint in our minds, 
we're going to grow weak as a people. There will be no strength. It all starts here in the head. That's what Satan is going to attack. He may touch your little flesh a little bit, but this is what he wants. He wants that because he believes the more souls he get, he's going to win this thing. But he's not going to out. He's not going to outdo y'all. Y'all's going to have a people. Y'all say if, if, if he had to call, cause the rocks to cry out. Hallelujah. He's going to have a people. But that's what Satan's going to attack. He's going to attack the mind. That's his playing field. Hallelujah. You see it today. What is he doing today? There's a famine today for the word of Yah. There's a famine. You look, look, you look around you. Where do you see anyone that's sincere of Yah? Go online. Look at the clips, anything. Where do you see anybody that's is sincere of Yah? It's all about the flesh. It's all about the flesh. There's going to be a famine for the word of Yah. Listen here in Amos. Amos 8 and 11. It says, Behold, the days come, says Abba Yah, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor of thirst for water, but of hearing of the word of Yah. There is a famine. You mean to tell me, and I know, there has to be. There's people out there that, that really want to hear the word of Yah. But because there is no word of Yah out there, they end up being taken like everyone else. Foolishness, jocularity, clowning. That's all that's out there. There's no truth. There's no talk of sin. None whatsoever. There's no talk of strength. There's no preaching out there that's giving anyone strength. Tell them to come out of their sin. Walk right. This is what the Torah says. Line upon line, precept upon precept. They're not doing it. They're taking the word of Yah and they're twisting it. Hallelujah. They're taking it and they're twisting it. They're not giving the people nothing to stand on. Nothing. They've been taken by this world. They've been sucked up, chewed up, and spit out. You look at some of the ones that had left from here. It's sad. It's sad. What can you hear the word of Yah today? Hallelujah. Amos 8 and 12. And it says in Amos 8 and 12, it says, And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yah, and shall not find it. Where's the truth today? Tell me. If I was out there, there's no way. Even before, years ago, I visited other churches, and I watch them dance and I say, if that's Yah, it's going to take Yah to make me get up and do that. I was just that tight until I heard the man of Yah. You know how I knew it was true? Because it made me angry. I was mad. And I couldn't shake it. I could not shake it. And I knew it was the truth. I said, that's the truth. And that night, I'm out. I couldn't shake it. Couldn't shake it. Couldn't shake it. And I knew Yah was dealing with me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you don't find that out there today. You say what you will, say what you may. Those of you who are listening, you find it, email us. Show us. Because you can't find the truth out there today. It's not even possible. Hallelujah. But y'all's going to have a people. He's going to have a people that's going to serve him. That's going to bow down. That's going to pay homage. That's going to reverence him. His word. His Torah, his misfile. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Goes on to Amos 8 and 13. In that day shall the beautiful virgins and the young men faint for thirst. Hallelujah. So they're going to thirst to hear the word of Yah. In that day. What day is that? That's this day. There's no word out there. No word at all. Hallelujah. Totally, y'all. Hallelujah. I'm going down to uh, Lamentations. This is to the cries of, of Jeremiah for the people of Yah. Lamentations 5 and 1. It says, remember, O Yah, what has come upon us. Consider 
and behold our reproach. When we have a faint heart, this is the condition that we bring as the people of Yah upon us. Because our hearts are faint, we've gone away from the things of Yah. We want to handle it our way. And Lamentations 5 and 2 says, Our inheritance is turned to strangers, our houses to aliens. And you look at the homes today. You look at the people. There's no word of Yah in it. It's all these strange spirits coming through the radio, the TV. They got their kids jumping and bumping. Uncles and nephews are crazy. Hallelujah. Fighting each other, hurting each other. These are alien spirits. This is not of Yah. Hallelujah. And if we, as a people of Yah, do not allow our minds to be, become faint, then Yah will keep us from this. Because we're not above this. We can be going out of here tomorrow. Hallelujah. That's why our hearts should be grateful that Yah has allowed us, has kept us here today. As a small group, he still has the people that stand there. So let our lives be encouraged. Hallelujah. In Lamentation 5 and 3, it says, We are orphans, fatherless. Our fathers are as widows. Do we not see that out there today? And we would be the same way here if we allow our minds to become faint. It says we are orphans, fatherless. They have no fatherly ruah to guide them. They have no motherly ruah to, to guide them. They, they are widows. It says five and four, we have paid to drink our water. Our wood is sold to us. Is that not how the world is today? Everything costs you. You got to pay a water bill. Everything costs you. They're taking every dime. Hallelujah. Every dime. We here, we have escaped it. Hallelujah. Because we have given unto, we have allowed our hearts to be given unto the word of Yah, to do what he has commanded his people to do, to live amongst each other. Those of you are listening, you know it's tough out there. Those of you are listening live stream, you know it's tough out there. Every dime, everything before you've even made it, it's spent. Can't put back a nickel. It's gone. And that's how the system is set up out there. You got to pay for everything. They're wiping you clean of every dime. You're living from check to check. Hallelujah. Lamentations 5 and 5. Such a shameful, shameful condition. Our necks are under persecution. We labor and have no rest. They go from one job unto the next. Hallelujah. One unto the next. The necks are as the ox. Hallelujah. Plowing the field. Laboring. Laboring. For what? For nothing. For nothing. They have accomplished the thing. Going to buy a house? Not so. Work all your life to pay for a house. Sad. Hallelujah. Sad. We have given our hands to Miss Mizarim, Egyptians, and to the Assyrians to be satisfied with bread. Hallelujah. What, what is that saying, Akshimri? That we have allowed ourselves just for a piece of bread, just for to make ends meet, to become like them. Yeah. We're dibbling and dabbling what they are doing when we shouldn't be as a people of Yah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lamentations 5 and 7. Our fathers have sinned and are no more, and we have borne their iniquities. Hallelujah. And now we are paying for it. We're paying for our fathers, our forefathers' sins. Hallelujah. The service has ruled over us. There is none that does deliver us out of their hand. We got our bread with the peril of our nephris, our souls, because the sword of the wilderness. 5 and 10. Our skin was black like an oven because of the terrible famine. They ravish our women in Zion and the virgins in the cities of Yahudah. The princesses are hung, are hanged up by the hand. The faces of the elders were not honored. Do you see these young boys out here today? Is there any honor? Do you say that, see any of the young girls out here today? Is there any honor? For the Ema, 
For the Ava, there's no honor today. None whatsoever. Do they honor? No one. No way. None. I don't care where, where you go. You look at little ones. Five, six years old. There's no honor for their mother. They flip out with fits in the store, keeking. They want a toy. For the word of Yah says that children shall rule over them. And we see that now. It's coming. They took the young men to grind, and the children fell under the wood. The elders have ceased from the gate. The elders have ceased from the gate. Do you see any elderly men today that's standing at the gate, instructing the young men, helping them? You don't see it today. You see the young men, the elder men today trying to be young. They're more worried about how they look, how they dress. They're trying to be like the young buck. Instead of saying, boy, shut your mouth, do this. They're not standing at the gate. They're not at the gate. They help the young, young men. You don't see that out there today. The young men, the elders have ceased from the gate. The young men from their music. The, 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 the men have no strength today. They don't have no strength. The young men, they have no strength today to guard the heritage of Yah, Yahshua. There is no strength today. Where, where can you find it? You can't find it. Lamentations 5 and 15. It says, the joy of our heart is ceased. Our dance is turned into mourning. No rejoicing in Yah. You don't see it out there today. Hallelujah. That's why we as the people of Yah, we must guard our hearts. That we not become faint. That we not become like those people out there. Hallelujah. We must stand as a people of Yah. There must be a difference. As, as the King Benjamin always said, we must be like that light, that city, that sit upon the hill. There must be a light. There must be. And we must not be shamed of the, the things of Yah, the Torah of Yah. We must not allow Satan to allow us to be shamed. And we become faint. And that we lose sight of the things of Yah. We must stand as a people of Yah. Hallelujah. We must stand strong. Hallelujah. We must not even care what they say. So what? Hallelujah. I've always been that way. I never cared. What, okay, so what? I don't care what you say. Fine. That's good. Whatever. That's your opinion. What is an opinion? That's just your thought. That's your opinion on a thing. What is it? It means nothing. It means a hill of beans. That's your opinion. I don't care. Hallelujah. Lamentation 5 and 16. It said, the crown is falling from our head. Woe to us that we have sinned. Hallelujah. Woe to us that we have sinned. We have fallen short. Hallelujah. If we allow this faint heart to be, to be within us, we have fallen short as the people of Yah. We must not allow it. We must stand strong. We must stand on the word of Yah. Hallelujah. We must be a people that's complete, complete in this Torah. That stand strong. Hallelujah. That walk in an upright position in this Torah of Yah. Hallelujah. We must become that people. We must, we must not care about what our kids been say. Hallelujah. We must not resort to their ways and allow them to, to coerce us. We must not. We must not. We must stand because y'all sees it all. We may think we're getting by, but we're not. We're not getting by as the people of Yah. That is a sign of, of faint hardness. When you bow to their ways and you know that it's not right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know that it's not pleasing before Yah. But still you allow it to take place. Still you agree to whatever they're, they're saying. Instead of going to the Torah and saying, nah, I can't do that. I can't do it. It wouldn't be pleasing before my Abba. I can't, I can't do it. That's a sign of strength. Even if you're weak and you, you feel that you, you, you become weak. Even if you feel it because, oh, well, that's, that's my natural cousin. That's, that's this. Still, you got to do what the Torah says. If not, it's a sign of faint hardness. We have to do what the Torah says. We can't give in. We can't. Hallelujah. And because of that, the sin, that's why we as the people of Yah, we faint. Hallelujah. Because of that sin, we give in. Hallelujah. And we can't give in. We must stand strong. Hallelujah. Lamentations 5 and 17. 
For that sin, it say for, for this our heart is faint. For these things, our eyes are dim. As I talked about earlier, we can't see. We look through the glass so dimly. We go through a thing we can't see because of our sin. Hallelujah. Because of our sin, we haven't allowed Yah to massage our hearts. Hallelujah. That we become not faint. Because of the sins, he can massage your heart. Because we as the people, we got to do what the Torah says, what Yah has charged us to do. Then Yah, he will strengthen us. He will allow us to see. Hallelujah. He will give us strength to see. He will, he will clean the eye salve out of our eyes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It say for faint. For these things, our eyes are dim for our sins. We cannot see spiritually. Lamentation 5 and 18. Because of the mountain of Zion, which is desolate, the foxes, the foxes walk upon it. Lamentations 5 and 19. You, O Yahweh, remain forever. Your throne from generations to generation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where do you, Lamentations 5, where do you continually forget us? Wherefore do you continually forget us and forsake us so long a time? Turn us to you, O Yah, 5 and 21, and we shall be turned. Renew our days of old. Hallelujah. And we should say that all, a lot. Go back to, we need to get back to the old time ways. You remember I said that not too long, long ago, recently. We need to get back to our old time ways. Praying and crying out unto Yah. Getting upon our knees as a people. And we've got high minded. Hallelujah. And we need to go back to the old time way. And we don't allow this faint heart to overtake us. Because you get high minded and the pride slips in. Hallelujah. Then you start doing things of the fleshly way. Of the way the world does them. Hallelujah. So we need to get back to that old time way. Take us back, oh, y'all, to the old time way, where you first found me. Hallelujah. Take me back, oh, y'all. Hallelujah. Take me back to where you found me, y'all. Hallelujah. Take my mind back. Take my ruah back. A fresh ruah. A young, tender ruah. Hallelujah. It's new to the things of y'all. Hallelujah. Totally, y'all. Take me back, oh, y'all. Hallelujah. Oh, Yes. Renew our days of old. Hallelujah. Make us, y'all. Make our hearts love you again. Hallelujah, y'all. Damn this faint heart, y'all. Curse it, y'all, from the root. Take me back, oh, y'all. Hallelujah. But you have, Lamentation 5 and 22, but you have utterly rejected us. You are very angry with us exceedingly. Oh, help me, y'all. And Psalm 7 and 11 say, Yahweh judges the Kadesh. And Yahweh is angry with the wicked every day. Hallelujah. Yahweh is angry with the wicked every day. Hebrews 12 and 3. It says, for, for consider Yahshua that suffered such opposition from those sinners against him, himself. Least you be weary and faint in your minds. So at times, we need to just think about that. What Yahshua, what he done for us, for our sins, for our shortcomings. Because we all fall short. We all have fallen short. Hallelujah. We all have. And we need to consider that. Ponder it. Think about that. Put yourself, as I said earlier, put yourself in those shoes. Yah gave his only begotten son. There's something about the Ahava that a father has for his son. When you have two ox that truly love each other, nothing can come between that. Something Yah put within a man. Hallelujah. When there's a true love between two ox, I can't even explain it. But y'all put something in a man. So you have another man, a man of strength, a man of Imuna, a man of Yah, that loves another man of strength, of Imuna, a man that loves Yah. 
What can come between that? Nothing. Nothing can come between that. One would die for the other. And that's what we should be as conditions of y'all. Hallelujah. Not running to our little hideout. No, we should want to be with the other occults, the other arts. Fellowshipping. That we may establish that type of a hava, one for the other. But see, when we run to our own little conclave or our own little hideout, then it's just like the world. Is that, how, is that not how the world does it? They come meet on Sunday. That's it. They may have an event. That's it. So let us have that. How about one for the other? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where was I at? Um, say again, 12-4. You have not resisted the blood, striving against sin, and you have forgotten the exhortation that speaks to you as to children. My son, despise not your chastening, the chastening of Yah, nor faint when you are rebuked of him. Hallelujah. So we know that it's Yah. What Avat does not chasten his son or his daughter? Hmm? That lets you know that even you didn't like it, even though you didn't like it, even though you was mad, you cried, but still there was something there you knew that your Avat, he cared about you. You know why? Because he corrected you. Hallelujah. He corrected you. So you know that there was love there. You knew he cared about your, your nephish. I went to high school with kids. I did, they went to the Myers Park High School. These kids drove Porsches. Hallelujah. Range Rovers. Mama's a lawyer. Daddy's a doctor. Mama's flying here. Daddy's flying there. I hung out with these kids. And they never seen their mom and daddy. Hardly ever all week. They had a nanny. Hallelujah. And when they did see their mom, they despised them. They disrespected him. They didn't like him. And it bothered me because, of, man, he talked to his mama that way. Because it wasn't his fault. It was their fault. Hallelujah. They despised their parents. They never saw them. They give them money and they're gone. These kids practically raise themselves. Going to school, coming home to a nanny, just doing whatever they want. With much money. So what father you knows that if he corrects his son, he spanks him or he gives him a whooping. That he doesn't care about them. He doesn't care about his direction in life. Hallelujah. So our God, he, he cares about us. He corrects us. He takes us through battles. He takes us through things. He wants us to suffer. Because it brings out the best in us. He sees what he's put in us. And he says, you know, what kind of God is You listen to this. He takes us through a thing. And then he also tells us in his word that he's not going to put no more on us than we can bear. Hallelujah. Come on. Is that not a reassurance? He's going to take you through it and then tell you, I'm not going to put no more on you, son, that you can bear. I wouldn't even allow it to be on you if I didn't think you can bear it. So that alone is a reassurance. He knows you can bear it. But we don't think we can. We wrestle. We think like, y'all, what in the world are you doing? Y'all knows you can bear it. Hallelujah. He knows you can handle it. He knows that. But we think in our mind, we allow this faint mind, we allow Satan to play in our mind to what we think we can't bear. We can bear it because this is of y'all. I don't care what it is. I've always put it in my mind. There's nothing I can't do. I don't care what it is. Preaching, speaking, football, basketball. There's nothing I can't do. I've always had that mindset. And now with y'all, it's even more increased. If this is what y'all intend for me to do, then y'all let it be. Give me the strength. I'll do it, y'all. My heart is open. Lead me. Guide me. And we should be like that as people of y'all. Hallelujah. You have y'all behind you and you say something you can't do. You're going to be a doubting Thomas. No, don't do that. You can do it. I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's losing weight, whatever it may be. You can do it. Anything you put this mind to, you can do it. 
And then you got y'all behind you where you can get on your knees and pray. There's nothing you can't do. I don't care what it is. You can do it as a people of y'all. Hallelujah. You going to tell me natural people out there that don't even know y'all can set this mind. This is a powerful thing that y'all has given us. Powerful. And there's nothing in here. Cholesterol, water, what is it? Fat. Hallelujah. Come on, people of y'all. It's nothing we can't do. If they can do it out there in the natural, so I don't care what it is. You can do it through Yeshua HaMashiach. Hallelujah. I don't care what it is. Hallelujah. So let us be strong as a people of y'all. Let us faint not. Hallelujah. Let us faint not. Nothing you can't do. Nothing. Don't let Satan tell you that you can do it. I'm telling you you can do it. I know you can do it. Hallelujah. I don't care what it is. You set your mind to it. Hallelujah. Let your heart be pure. Don't let nothing dis- deter you. You tell no, uh-uh, hell no. I know I can do this. I'm going to do it. I'm going to show you. Hallelujah. That's how you stand as a people. I don't care what it is. Hallelujah. Totally y'all. Let not your minds be weary. Hallelujah. Hebrews 12 and 4. Is that where I'm at, Yosef? Okay. Hallelujah. Hebrews 12 and 6. For whom y'all loves, he chastened. He scourges every son whom he receives. Hallelujah. So let me let you know that Yah ahavas us as a people of Yah. If we faint now, we allow our minds not to become faint. We distrust in Yah. Hallelujah. Let us faint not. Hallelujah. Let us become strong people of Yah. Let us put aside these little penny ante things that amount to nothing. Hallelujah. Let us be strong ox, stronger coats. Hallelujah. When people come, they say, wow, last time I come here, why, y'all have changed. Oh, you lost weight. Oh, man, you building some muscle. Hallelujah. Oh, man, what y'all done to this place? That's how it should be. A collectiveness, a family. That's one thing. I'm going to say this account. There's one thing about me, even as a young lad. My son, he's nine. I don't think I was that young, maybe a little older. But we would have family reunions. I never told my mother or my about this. Um, we would always have family reunions. Not always, but when we had them, my little heart, I, I, re, I recall driving 77, 277. We're going to the family reunion. And I would always be excited. Always. It's just something about me and, and family or, orientation and things that we would have as a family reunion. My heart would always be excited. I love to see cousins I hadn't seen in a while. I love to play with all the little children, some of them I didn't even know. But I've always been that way, family oriented. I've always liked that, family reunions. And then as we got older and, you know, they kind of changed, people wasn't coming, and then it's kind of just, they kind of just really just dwindled down to a few. They separated this, called themselves religious, so that little side of the family had a little family union, and this side had, you know, just kind of just dwindled away. But I recall that. And even as a young boy, I always said that, when I get older, I'm going to move down in the woods. I'm going to find me some land. And that's always been my thought. I don't know where it come from, but that's always been, been my desire. So when we purchased this land, I recall one evening as we was working on the big barn up there. And uh, back then, we didn't have no lights. And this field back here had grass about this tall, pretty tall. And we was up there working. And my heart just overwhelmed. We had just finished up. We were maybe putting the roof on or something. I don't know. And I was walking back across the field because I would get off at 5 o'clock, 6 or 5, I was pulling that gate. That's how it rolled. I done been all the way to Tennessee and back. But that evening, I was coming across that field. I wasn't tired. I was young. I was virile, you know, driving all day and then coming out here. That wasn't nothing for me. And uh, coming across the field, and I got there to the middle of the field. I don't think I ever told anyone this. And I got about right there in the middle of the field. Couldn't nobody see me. And I just fell upon my knees, and I just began to cry. And just told her, y'all. For such a place like this. We didn't have nothing up there but the barn. But my heart was just overwhelmed. You know to live like this. To, to be a part of a family. Hallelujah. And I've always been that way. I, I just got right there in that grass. I wasn't afraid of nothing. I just got down. I knew my eyeball was, he was watching on me. What about no snake or nothing like that? What about no snake? Not at all. Nothing. I just got up on my knees right there and just cried. I never told no one that. And I just told her yeah. You know, just to be a part of a family. That's always been my heart, to have a family. 
to be a part of a true family. People that you can trust. People that you, you can look at and get strength from. People that you, that you know that's going to stand with you. Not a cowardized people. A people of strength. And that's what we should be as a people of y'all. Family oriented. Close knit. We know one or the other because we come out, we fellowship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We know what one is going through because we're around each other. If we run off to our little conclaves, we don't know what's going on. And that's not of y'all. That's of a faint heartness. That's a faint heart because y'all, he tells us to be of one mind. If we, have, we are of, of one mind, then we want to be around each other. We want to fellowship. We want to be honest. We want to be truthful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Told y'all. Well, man, Joe, 12 and 6. Okay. Okay, I'm done. Uh, Galatians 6 and 9. Just a little word of encouragement. He's saying, let us not be weary in well-doing conditions of y'all. Let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season, we shall reap if we faint not. Hallelujah. Galatians 6 and 9. It says... Let us not be weary, condition of Yah, in well-doing, for we're doing well. Satan is going to do his job and say, oh, look at this and look at that. We're doing well, condition of Yah. You look out there and see how they're doing. You compare that. We're doing well, condition of Yah. Hallelujah. He say, for in due season, we shall reap if we faint not. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let us, condition of Yah, let us faint not. Let us stand strong. Hallelujah. We've come this far. What is that to go back to? What? You tell me. Hallelujah. What is that to go go back to? Tell me. There's nothing out there. Take your little ones out there in that rat race. Man, I bust him up. That little one? My little friend? No, let us stand strong for this one, y'all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You hear me? Hallelujah. Let me close it up. So dear, hallelujah. What a word of strength. What a word of encouragement from a man of strength. Hallelujah. So dear, let us turn Shub to Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Abba Yahweh, we do Baraki for this night, for this word you have given us, Yahweh, from the throne of the Shemayims, Abba Yahweh. We told you for our ark, for our hope, those that are scattered around the nation, around the world, Abba Yahweh, just touch them, Yahweh. Those that are, that are uh, experiencing hard times, Yahweh, we know that you're able, as we heard tonight, Abba Yahweh. Just like in a garden, you have to labor to plow, you have to labor to plant, but yet, when the fruit come forth, it's an exciting time, hallelujah. So let us labor, let us work our imuna that we may become stronger. Let's continue to plant the Torah in our lips, Abba Yahweh, that in due time we can present unto you an abundance of fruit. In all things we do, Baraki, and the precious, in my name of Yahshua, Hamashiach, we do cry out, hallelujah, 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 Yahweh, hallelujah, Yahweh Baraki, hallelujah.